Yeah, you good? Good to see ya. I got all the Oh, you do? Yeah, all. Oh, I appreciate it, man. Yeah. How you been? Good, man, yourself? I'm well. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, it is good to be back at the flea market. We are going to be running around today to try and find four categories that I love to pick up at a really decent price to sell for a profit on eBay. This is completely possible for anyone out there. Um, so if you're watching this and you want to start up a side hustle, I think the flea market flipping side hustle is the way to go. We're going to be putting it all onto eBay and going to be showing you the price breakdown of what I'm buying it for and how much it goes on to sell for. So let's go and find some items. I've got, um, I've got four here. Yep. Would, you, would $15 be alright for that? Yep, that's fine. Alright, no worries. Alright, so our first buy of the day, I've spent 15 bucks, which trust me, for four DVDs is a lot of money, but I'm confident with these purchases. Um, Great British Ghosts, those ones there as a bundle. I always try and sell my DVDs as a bundled lot because you can always save a bit of money on the postage by not doing them individually. Uh, and I found a grouping there of season one and two. Season two is actually brand new and sealed, and that always helps the resale value as well. Um, so to pick that up, they'll both sell for about 20 to $25 a piece. I should be able to do about $40 free postage. So even though I'm paying about $8 to get my hands on it, um, it's still a really good turnaround when you turn it into 40 bucks. The other one I've got here is Balls of Steel. That one goes for about $25. Um, so again, I'm only paying about $4 to get my hands on it. Uh, and it turns into some pretty good return. Uh, that will go into a medium envelope as well. Um, so it should only cost about $4.50 to send off. Uh, and then this one here I have sold before, so always use your past experience. Um, Wild Boys <coughs> season three and four, that's the last two seasons of that TV show. Um, there's comps on eBay going for about 20 bucks on that one as well. So we've got four really good DVDs, even though we've had to pay out for them at 15 bucks. Let me go back in there and see what else we can grab. <laughs> How much did you pay? Two, bucks, two, bucks. two for the whole lot. Did you barter them? Did you negotiate them down? Yeah? She said three. She said three, you said two? Well done. Oh, and I really should quickly say, before we get into the next category, we're only a couple of hundred subscribers away from 15,000. It'd be awesome if we could achieve it in this video. So go ahead and smack the subscribe button. There's a heap of eBay tips on this channel every single week. Mate, I got three games, and I got three. Nah, nah, nah. I would do, I would do ten dollars for each one, sixty bucks total. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. Thanks, Steve. You good with that? Thanks, man. All right, we've just had our second buy of the day. Uh, we picked up three video games. And we picked up three Funko Pops as well. But the coolest thing was that it was Porks that was running the stall. And he has been a viewer of the channel for a little bit now. And he actually got into reselling because of the videos that I put up onto YouTube. And I love it when I meet guys like that. And they're just getting into it. And if I can be able to help out in any way, that's even better. So um, Porks was able to hook me up with a pretty sweet deal as well. He was doing $15 on all of his video games, $15 on all of his Funko Pops as well. Um, and I was able to get every single one that I picked up for $10 each. And he even showed me all of the Funko Pops in the boot as well of his car. So um, huge thank you to Porks. I uh, really appreciate the hookup. These ones here should all go for some decent money. I think they're all gonna be going for the Funko Pops are all gonna be going between sort of $35 to $45. Um, so it's not gonna be a massive amount of profit off a $10 purchase, but there's still gonna be some decent money in it. Uh, and then these video games as well for $10, we're all going between sort of $25 to $35. $5. And a bit like the uh, the DVDs we spoke of earlier in the video, they're going to go into a medium envelope and that only costs about $4.50 odd to send off. So um, there should be some good money in the three video games we're able to pick up. So three Funko Pops, I think it's a good category to focus on. If you can find the rare ones, they always obviously sell best. Uh, and then the video games is a very consistent selling category for me. So that's three categories that we've done now. Um, let's go and find one more category that I like to pick up when I'm at the fleet. Another little flea market secret that I've got for you guys is to always tip the busking musician. If you do it, it always stands for pretty good luck in the flea. Yeah. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess 80 bucks. I'm gonna guess. How high are we? 
100. How low can we go? <laughs> nah, that's cool. I thought that'd be the case. How much on the shoes? 40. 40 on the shoes? Yeah. I might have to leave those. <laughs> How are you going? Yeah. I'm really well. How much are you doing on the shoes? Yeah. 40 bucks. Yeah. They're good shoes. Yeah. Um, what about 30 bucks on these? Yeah. 35. Let's do it. Let's okay. do 35. All right, the fourth and final category that I love to pick up at the flea is the shoes. Now, I ended up going with these ones here, albeit we had some really high price points in the shoe category at the flea, which doesn't usually happen, so it is kind of tough to see. Uh, those Doc Martens for $100, that was tough. Um, really good pair of shoes though, but 100 bucks is pretty much what I'm gonna try and sell them for, so I couldn't be doing anything there. The Tiger Oni Sukas, they were brand new, uh, but at $40, I couldn't do too much there. Even these, these, um, these are the 98s, the MX 98s. I love the leopard print colorway on these. They're a women's US eight and a half. Um, unfortunately, at $35, I'll probably end up selling them for about 90, which allows some profit to come through. But hopefully at your flea markets, you're seeing things like shoes for five to $10, because that's where you're gonna make the most money, trying to resell them for 40 to $50. Um, if you're seeing shoes for 35 bucks, I'm only buying this because I've been in the game for two and a half years and I know what I'm buying. But if you're just starting out, I recommend that five to $10 price point um, and pick up those common everyday shoes that sell well. This one here, more of a premium high-end shoe, should do pretty well for me and I've sold the brand in the past. Um, and the exact same make as well, the MX 98s. So um, yeah, past experience always helps. The other four main selling categories for me here at the fleet. Definitely been a super successful morning, guys. This is the flea market side hustle. You can make two, three, four hundred dollars every single month by picking out these everyday items, just as we have in this video today. They're four of my favorites. Trust me, there's a lot of other categories that you can be selling on eBay. It's just what I like to pick up when I'm out at the flea. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. The next step is to try and learn, obviously, how to go on to sell it on places like eBay. Fortunately, I've got a beginner's guide video right here, which breaks down exactly how to do that. So go and check that one out, and we'll see you in the next video.